بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ورحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ ان دس ویڈیو آئی ول شیئر سم اسلامک گائیڈنس ٹو لوز اینڈ مینٹین ہیلتھی ویٹ آئی ہیو پرسنل ریڈ سو مینی بکس آن ڈائٹس اینڈ ہاؤ ٹو لوز ویٹ آئی ہیو پریکٹس مینی ڈائٹس لائک ایٹکنز پیلیو ماسٹر کلینز ویج اونلی لو کا فیٹ فری کیٹو ایٹسیکٹرا دا لسٹ آف بکس آئی ہیو ریڈ آن دس ٹاپک از پریڈی لانگ سم آف دیز ورک اینڈ ادرس ڈون بٹ ایون دوز وچ ورک آر اونلی ٹیمپریری You may lose weight, but there are high chances that you won't maintain it. Some of these diets recommend eating veg, others non-veg, yet another recommend to eat carbs, not fat, while others 180 degrees opposite opinion that eat fat and no carbs. Here is some guidance from the Quran and the Sunnah. And if you follow these guidelines, I guarantee that you will get results. Number one, eating in moderation. Over the years, from personal experience and having seen a lot of people, I have realized that the only way to lose weight is not to diet, but eat in moderation. Eat whatever you like, of course, halal stuff, but only in moderation. The Quran has drawn our attention to this fact in Surah Al-Arab, Ayah number 31, وَكُلُوا وَشْرَبُوا وَلَا تُسْرِفُوا إِنَّهُ لَا يُحِبُّ الْمُسْرِفِينَ Eat and drink without going to excesses, for Allah doesn't like those who go to excess. If I go over all the books I have read on diets and losing weight, this ayah is the summary and very essence of all. Studies have shown and proven that many diseases such as obesity and binge eating are due to overeating. When we overeat, many harmful and negative effects can occur in our body such as it can promote excess body fat, it disrupts hunger regulation, increases the risk of diseases, can impair brain function, may make you nauseous, can cause excessive gas and bloating. The Prophet صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم آلویز ٹرسٹ آن ایٹنگ لیس امام ترمزی نریٹس ان ہز بک حدیث ٹو تھری ایٹ زیرو دیٹ دا سن آف آرم کین ناٹ فل اے وسل ورس دین ہز ٹمک ایز اٹ از انف فار ہیم ٹو ٹیک اے فیو بائٹس ٹو اسٹریٹن ہز بیک اف ہی کین ناٹ ڈو اٹ دین ہی مے فل اٹ ود اے تھرڈ آف ہز فوڈ اے تھرڈ آف ہز ڈرنک اینڈ اے تھرڈ آف ہز بریتھ سملرلی ان صحیح بخاری حدیث فائیو زیرو سیون نائن دا پرافٹ صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم سیڈ الکافر یا اکلو فی سفات اما و المؤمن یا اکلو فی میان واحد دیٹ دا ام بلیور ایس ود سیون انٹسٹنس اینڈ دا بلیور ایس ود ون انٹسٹن ان انادر حدیث دا پرافٹ پیس بی اپان ہم سیز ون پرسن فوڈ ول بی سفیشن فار ٹو دا ٹو دا فوڈ آف ٹو پیپل ول بی سفیشن فار فور اینڈ دا فوڈ آف فور ول بی سفیشن فار ایٹ ایٹ ان ماڈریشن eat to live and not live to eat number two fasting fasting is an excellent example of how to lose weight through islam and the sunnah today it has become a trend followed and promoted by celebrities and the whole world has seen the immense benefits of intermittent fasting dr eric berg with around 9 million followers ardently advocates intermittent fasting studies published by ncbi nih hopkin medicines harvard universities and some reputed journals confirm the huge benefits of intermittent fasting the, the prophet peace be upon him all practice of intermittent fasting has been narrated in the following hadith in Bukhari hadith 5371 qala ma shabi'a al muhammadin sallallahu alayhi wa sallam min tu'amin salasata ayyamin hatta qubida that the family of muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam didn't eat their fill for three consecutive days till he passed away there are so many benefits of intermittent fasting some of these include protecting against neurodegenerative diseases reducing insulin resistance and lowering blood sugar levels reducing the risk of heart, the risk of heart diseases boosting metabolism for weight loss helps to balance hormones fasting in islam is not just restricted to the holy month of ramadan according to the sunnah it is recommended to fast on mondays and thursdays three days a month or even alternate days Number three, eating and drinking slowly. The Prophet, peace be upon him, emphasized on the importance of chewing our food properly and taking small morsels, both which are part of the Islamic manners of eating. It was narrated that Aisha said the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa was eating food with six of his companions when a bird one came and ate it all in two bites. The Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa said if he had said Bismillah, it would have sufficed you all. When one of you eats food, let him say Bismillah. And if he forgets to say Bismillah at the beginning, let him say Bismillah fi awwalihi wa akhirihi. In our fast-paced Western cultures, we see people eating on the go, grabbing fast food when they came and not being mindful of what or how they are eating. Paul Mekana wrote a book titled as I Can Make You Thin. He researched several principles and the number one principle he found effective was eating slowly. chewing your food thoroughly before it goes down the st- to the stomach. Interestingly, Paul Mekana found that naturally 10 people habitually eat slowly. See 10 people around yourselves and you will find them doing so. Science today has proven that it is also important to drink water slowly rather than gulping it down to get the best absorption rate. 
although it is permissible to drink water in one breath. The sunnah of the Prophet sallallahu wasallam was to drink it in three breaths. Both are permissible, but the latest is preferable because of the hadith of Anas ibn Malik. May Allah be pleased with him who said when he drank, he would take a breath three times. And he said that it is more enjoyable and more healthy. Drinking slowly actually helps the fluid get absorbed better in the body and get the maximum benefits out of it. Number four, correct posture. Correct posture is another practice we may easily forget or not even know about. In Islamic tradition, it is emphasized in the sunnah to sit on the knees on the floor, keeping one's way to the left side and eating. There are many benefits of correct posture while eating, such as promoting concentration on the task of eating, it promotes digestion, prevents flow of food and fluid into the airways. According to science Nave.no, researchers found that people who eat while reclining suffer from stress-related indigestion or functional dyspepsia. The Prophet says, La akulu muttaki and I don't eat while reclining. Number five is don't combine fats and proteins and carbs. It has been narrated in Shumayli Muhammadiyya Hadith number 71 authenticated by Imam Al-Bani that Malik ibn Dinar reported the Messenger of Allah, peace and blessing be upon him, never ate to his fill of bread or meat unless he was eating with people. Now science confirms that your body either burns carbs or fats at one time. So if you combine carbs and fats, it will burn carbs and store fat. والصلاة والسلام على نبي